Hi there, in this video I'm going to have a go at making the conrod and the crosshead for the Stuart S50 and um, this will uh, be the first time I've uh, tried to make a taper and it will also be the first time I've tried to turn between centres using a homemade lathe dog. Uh, but before I get on to that I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support provided. It really is very much appreciated. And in particular, uh, to the Peace Office for the advice on to how to make a little device to enable you to centre up your rotary table quite easily. Now my rotary table's got a, an MT2 taper in the centre. And the Peace Office suggested that I get an MT2 taper blank, which I have done, and turn the blank end uh, to fit um, into the collet chuck and I've turned that down to be 14 millimeters and it works an absolute treat so I'm over the moon with that and I'll show you it working um, later on in the video um, so anyway let's uh, see how we get on so this is a piece of mild steel bar which will be used to make the conrod and I've already uh, faced both ends using a four jaw chuck on the lathe and put a little uh, centre hole on each side. Now um, Tubal Kane suggests that um, rather than reaming this hole to three sixteenths of an inch in diameter that you actually ream it to a quarter of an inch and put a bush in there and that's what I'm going to do. Now the smaller hole is uh, going to be reamed to uh, 3 30 seconds of an inch. Now I've done some basic marking out here as per the plan and I've um, just centre popped here so this is where the holes will be drilled and um, once the holes have been drilled I need to then uh, put a taper on it uh, between these ends at these points here and it will taper downward slightly and on the ends these need to be um, turned to a radius so the radius on this side is an eighth of an inch from the centre and the radius on this side is three sixteenths of an inch from the centre so um, first of all I'll uh, drill and ream the holes. So I've got a little centre drill in the chuck and I've adjusted the Y axis to be on this centre line and just to double check that I'm spot on I've just brought the drill down very slightly just touching the piece on this waist and I've just turned it by hand and that's given me a little dot right in the middle of that centre line and I've done the same on this end as well just by moving the x-axis and that's spot on as well so I know that the vice is parallel and I know that I've got the y-axis correct so now what I need to do is adjust the x-axis so if I place it on this first hole here so I'll centre very lightly and then I'll uh, drill and ream to a quarter of an inch. Well I can't find me uh, 2.3mm drill bit so I've uh, drilled 2.1. Fingers crossed it'll ream okay. Now I know this isn't ideal but we'll just have to persevere um, so I'll tighten the reamer up a bit more 
and increase the speed. Let's hope it works. Well, I think I got away with it. Um, the reamer does sort of fit in there nicely. Um, so fingers crossed we're okay. No doubt the 2.3mm drill bit will now turn up. But anyway, onto the lathe. So to uh, create the taper on the lathe, I need to turn it between centres. And uh, I've, I've never done this before, using um, a lathe dog. Now, um, I don't have any lathe dogs, so I've made one. Um, just out of a piece of aluminium. Uh, drilled a few holes in there and tapped a couple. And the idea will be that that will fit in there like that. And uh, I need a life centre on this side, on the tailstock end. And a dead centre on this end here. Uh, now I've not got a dead centre, so what I'll do next is make a dead centre to fit in the three jaw chuck, and then all this assembly will uh, be driven by the three jaw chuck. That's the plan anyway. So for the dead centre, I need to put a 60 degree taper on the end of this miles through bar, and um, I'm guessing this is how you do it. So I've uh, move the compound slide um, 30 degrees so the handle actually goes across the lathe bed and the idea will be that um, I make the cut using the compound slide and then, after making one full cut, I'll use the cross slide to move the cross slide in about 10 thou, and then I'll repeat the cut again until I've got a point on uh, the end of the bar. good. So this is the uh, setup with the lathe dog and as you can see here the chuck is driving it uh, by putting pressure on this bolt here. Now um, tubal cane um, suggests that you use a pointed tool here to turn this section down to just under a quarter of an inch in diameter. Now that's the closest I've got to a pointed tool. I think it's a chamfering tool. Um, so I think I'm going to just have to try and persevere with that at the moment and uh, see whether it works or not. Um, but it may be I've, I've, I've got to change that. But we'll see how we get on.
So now I need to put the taper on and uh, I read something on the internet that to calculate how many degrees to uh, move the compound slide is what you do is you take the large diameter here which is a, a quarter of an inch and take off the small diameter that you're aiming for and then you uh, multiply it by 28, a magic number and then you divide it by the length of the taper so I, I work that out to be the difference is 1 16th of an inch so that's 0 0.0625 multiplied by 28 and divided by 2.25 that gives me 0 0.77 degrees so what I've decided to do is uh, move it to round about half a degree and unfortunately my compound slide can't travel uh, two and a quarter inches so I'm going to have to do it in two stages so fingers crossed this will work now I've worked out that the gap here should be round about 15 thou and it is so if, if I move the, the compound slide down um, at the moment it will just touch this bit here so what I'll do is I'll uh, move it in by uh, 5 thou to start with and uh, we'll see how this works out So, what I'll do now is take this off and put a left hand tool on. This is for aluminium but we'll give it a bash. Well I finished it off with a bit of wet and dry and I must say I am well impressed. Very happy with that result. Tubalcane, um suggests that you put some kind of a concave bit here um, I'm, I'm not too sure how to do that but I think aesthetically it looks okay um, so what I need to do now is to um, turn a radius on each end so this is the little device that the paste office suggested making so 2MT and 14mm uh, milled at the top Put it into my 14 millimeter collet. Tighten it up. Let the table slot into position. Lock it. And it's just a matter of putting clamps on the side. Then. Uh, lifting the taper out and it's spot on centre okay so uh, in order to turn the radius on this end which is uh, 3 16 of an inch radius I've uh, just turned this uh, piece of aluminium down so it's got a quarter inch shaft on it which fits nicely into the hole and it's got a 3 8 of an inch radius top so that actually defines the radius that I need to be working to. 
Now, um, on this side, I've decided to um, lock tight that in place. Then I'll put some packing underneath it. And then I'll put it in the three jaw chuck, which is attached to the rotary table. And I'll try and just turn the edge. I applied a bit of heat to free up the Loctite so that worked well and uh, I've tidied it up and I'm really happy with the result. Now um, to do the other side obviously the diameter of that hole is quite significantly smaller than the diameter of that one and uh, Tubal Cane suggests using a, I think a 7BA nut and bolt um, but I've not got a spare one of those and uh, Dave M uh, kindly uh, sent me a, a link through that shows a guy um, manually uh, milling um, something like that so he puts a pin through and then turns it by hand uh, but I've not got the bottle for that so um, my solution to this is going to be to use um, a, a bit of Bar. Now I've not ideally this should be mild steel I think or silver steel uh, but I've just got some brass so that just fits in there nicely and um, if I put this on top or in fact let's have a look not like that like that so if I lock the lock tight all that together I can then put this bit in the three jaw chuck on the mill and then I can machine round here um, in a similar way that I did this one now um, this is to the um, Stuart model plan this diameter or this radius rather and Tubal Cane actually suggests a radius of an eighth of an inch, which uh, I think is getting uh, a little bit uh, difficult for me. So I'm going to stick with the Stuart model radius and uh, see how that works out. I'll do it all off camera because essentially the process is exactly the same as that. So uh, I'll get back to you with the result. Well, that seemed to go very well. Uh, I've, I've tidied it up with a bit of wet and dry and uh, it looks good. So um, what I've done off camera is I've made this little bush and um, the bush is um, 3 eighths of an inch long, a quarter of an inch outside diameter to fit in there and uh, 3 sixteenths internal diameter. And before I lock tight it in here flush, I've just put it on here um, and tightened the uh, screw up just to make sure that it spins okay make sure there's enough clearance and it does spin um, so I'm happy that once this gets loctited in there flush um, it should turn okay so uh, I'll get on a loctite it well that seemed to work okay um, nice free movement there is a little bit of sideways movement on the conrod against the crankshaft but I think that's probably just due to the fact that there is a you've got to leave a little bit of a gap there um, 
otherwise it won't turn freely. So I, I think we're all right. Um, I guess if it presents a problem later on, I can just revisit that connection. But uh, overall, very happy so far. Well, that certainly uh, took a while. Um, I got there in the end. Um, however, um, I've revisited um, the connection um, to the crankshaft and I'm not happy with this crank pin I made in the previous video. Um, I wasn't really happy when I made it um, and I've now realised that the diameter of this little shaft on the crank pin is slightly under where it should be which is causing this little bit of play so I, c I can do a better job with that um, so I'm going to remake that um, but uh, I'm you know I'm really happy with the way that's turned out the reaming is absolutely spot on now um, I was going to tackle in this video the crosshead and um, having looked at the instructions um, I think it might be quite complicated so I'm going to tackle that in my next video uh, but anyway I hope you like the results so far and I hope to see you later